Hi guys, this is the Anatomy of a PCS Code Structure Lecture. Uh, it's a very short lecture. It's just meant to give you an overview of how a PCS code is built. So let's get started. So when we're looking at how to build a PCS code, there are a couple of things that you should be aware of. First of all, PCS codes have seven alphanumeric characters. That means that each character can contain up to 34 possible values, and those values are either a number or a letter. Uh, each of those values then represent a specific option for the general character definition. Next, the 10 digits, 0 through 9, and the 24 letters, A through H, J through N, and P through Z, all may be used in each character. Um, make sure that you are aware that I and O, so again, the letters I and O, are not used when we're building PCS codes, and we don't use those so that we can avoid confusions for 1 and 0. Um, building a PCS code is a process. A code is derived by choosing a specific value for each of the seven characters. Then, based on details about the procedure that's performed, the values for each character specifying the section, the body system, root operation, body part, approach, device, and qualify, qualifier excuse me, will be assigned. So a side note here, the definition of each character is also a function of it uh, if the physical position of, or, excuse me, is also a function of it in the phys physical position of the code. So basically what that means is the same letter or number placed in a different position in the code will give the code a different meaning. Procedures are divided into sections that identify the general type of procedure. For example, whether it's medical surgical, um, obstetrics, nuclear medicine, those types of things. The first character of the procedure code always specifies the section. The second through seventh characters will have the same meaning within each section, but they may mean different things in other sections. In all of the sections, the third character specifies the general type of procedure performed. So for example, a resection, a transfusion, a fluoroscopy, um, those types of things while the other characters are going to give us additional information such as the body part and the approach taken to get to it. Um, another thing that will be helpful to you are the PCS cheat cards. They come in handy when you're trying to figure out which root operation should be coded. So you're going to want to make sure that you watch the video for how to make your own set of PCS cheat cards. And that will be posted uh, up for you as well. Okay, so now you have this basic information. Let's see where it all starts. So again, a PCS code has seven digits, alphanumeric. So here we have one through seven. Digit number one, again, this could be a letter or a number. All of these can be letters or numbers, identifies the section. So digit number one is going to identify the section. Digit number two will identify the body system. Digit number three is going to tell us the root operation. Digit number four will identify the body part. Digit number five tells us the approach. Digit number six will tell us the device, if any, that was used. And digit number seven will tell us the qualifier, if any, that's applicable. So here we have an actual PCS code, 0HB2XZZ. So let's see what that code means. 0HB2XZZ is actually the code for the excision of a malignant melanoma from, I forgot my F down here, I apologize for that, from the skin of the right ear. So let me show you how we got there. This section is medical surgical. So you're going to look for this code in the med medical surgical section. The body part, the body system, excuse me, involved is the skin and breast. 
skin of the right ear falls obviously within the skin and breast body system. The root operation would be an excision. It tells us right here, an excision of a malignant melanoma. The body part is the skin from the skin of the right ear. So again, skin of the right ear. The approach is external. They're going in from an external approach. They're not going from an internal approach. There was no device mentioned and there's no qualifier mentioned. And so that's kind of how the code is built. And you're going to work through a lot of these PCS codes in the coming weeks. And so you'll, you'll become probably pretty familiar with how um, to determine which section, body system, root operation, body part, approach, device, and qualifiers are supposed to be um, applied to each um, problem as you work through them. Now, the root operation cards, again, those are um, very helpful to have when you're trying to figure out where to start and how to build a code. Okay, so the PCS tables and index, to kind of give you an idea, this is um, a PCS table and index from the PCS manual, and I just added some little things to um, help kind of clarify some things here for you. So each table is going to contain four columns and then varying numbers of rows. So just for clarification, a column is going to specify the allowable values for characters four through seven in the code, and then a row is going to specify the valid combinations of those values. So here we go. We have down here the section. In this table, the section number is zero. The body system in this table is D. The root operation in this table is B. So we know that the first three letters of this code R0, D, B. And what those letters tell us, those characters tell us, is that zero, it's a medical surgical section, it comes from the GI system, the root operation was an excision. Then we look for the body part. The body part we're looking for is the jejunum. And so the jejunum here, if we look in the body part, uh, column here, we have A. Jejunum is A. And then we look for a percutaneous approach, so it's going through the skin. Percutaneous approach here is a 3, so we would, actually this should be 3, not 4 down here, so it would actually be 3 here. And then no device would be Z. And then a uh, diagnostic qualifier would be X. And so with the exception of this four, which should actually be a three because it doesn't say percutaneous endoscopic, then uh, the code is correct. It should be zero DB A three Z X. And so that's kind of how the tables work. These three sections up here, or these three pieces of information up here are going to be your first three digits of the code. And then basically what you're going to do is, is pick and choose the appropriate um, remaining four characters based off of the information that you have. So say, for example, if we had... Um, the same section here, medical, surgical, GI system, and the excision, but we wanted to do the ileocecal valve, then that fourth body part digit here, character, would end up being C. If we had a via natural or artificial opening endoscopic, then the approach would be eight. If the device, uh, there's no device, used for these, then obviously the device will be Z. And if there's no qualifier on that approach, then the qualifier would be Z as well. So that's kind of how it works with the PCS tables. They are very confusing because there's a lot going on in these tables to look at. But once you learn how to read them, it's not nearly as difficult as it looks like it might be the first time you crack open that PCS manual. 
Okay, some more things to take note of uh, in the PCS index. The PCS index is going to provide the first three or four values of the code, just the first three or four. That means that you still have to turn to the table within the manual and figure out what the remaining, remaining um, three or four characters are going to be for that code. The tables must always be used to obtain the complete code. No eponyms are included. Um, there are index conventions that you're going to need to read. Those are located in your manual. You have to read them, just like you do with the, with the um, CPT manual, just like you do with the ICD-10-CM manual. You need to read your coding conventions. Those coding conventions are the groundwork and the basic rules for using any of these codes. The main index term is a root operation, the root procedure type, or common procedure name. For Example, the resection would be the root operation, a fluoroscopy is the root type, a prostatectomy would be a common procedure name. Uh, secondary ent entries are underneath the main term. And then the PCS table or code reference as specific as, needs to be as specific as possible. So here's an example. It tells you here, um, we're talking about bypass over here. Here's an aortic bypass, a thoracic aorta bypass. This is going to give us the first four digits of the code is, uh, is a 021W. You would then need to go back into the manual to the appropriate table and find the remainder of that code. Same thing here, all the way down. Now, if we go down to um, bypass of an artery, axillary, it's actually bypass of an axillary artery on the right side, it gives us the first one, two, three, four, five digits, but you then would need to go down and find um, the device and uh, qualifier if there is a need to complete that code. Okay, so we're going to do lots of these. Um, again, your book does a fantastic job of walking you through this. This is just meant to kind of give you a little extra guidance. As always, if you have questions, please let me know, um, and I will do my best to get them answered. Thanks.